Do you need some beams in your life? This house absolutely did, but it has made for such an amazing transformation. Architectural Products by Outwater creates this incredible product. They are faux beams, but looking at them now, you would never know. So when it comes time for install, there's a few steps that are really important to consider. Step number one is placement. And in my opinion, this is actually the most challenging step. Because when you're looking at your space, it's really important to understand how you can install the beams so that they look logical in the space, have appropriate placement, and really give a natural style to the space. But of course, you have ceiling details. There's vents, there's light fixtures, there's can lights. All of these are things that you need to work around. So before you get ready to install, make sure that you really go through and measure out the space. If something's in your way, most likely by the time that the beam is installed, you're not gonna see if it's off a couple inches here or there. But it's really important to have a good and appropriate layout before you get started. Step number two, super important. You're gonna need to cut blocks of wood. I really suggest considering a one by four. This will actually be cut the width of the interior of the hollow beam. You're going to do a chalk line along the entire ceiling and then mount these 1x4 strips of wood along that chalk line to really align with the interior of the hollow beam. Step number three, once you've got all of these blocks of wood cut, mount them to the ceiling. I recommend really looking at doing this every three to four feet, but you can also do them closer apart to really ensure better security. Step four, and this is a really unique one, but I actually recommend putting the screws into the side of the faux beams ahead of time. You can measure it out based on the blocks of wood that you've installed on the ceiling to exactly understand where they line up. Prepping these screw holes ahead of time will make it so much easier when you actually go to mount the beam itself. Step number five, add liquid nails. So take some liquid nails and actually add it along the entire edge of the faux beam. You'll wanna do this on each side because even though you're gonna be screwing it into the blocks of wood, the liquid nails really helps to give it that extra security that you want when adding faux beams to your ceiling. When it comes time for step six, you're gonna need a buddy. So this is definitely a two person job because as you take the beam together, one person on each end, you're actually gonna raise it up to the ceiling and mount it. Push this up, it's super lightweight and super easy to lift, but you wanna make sure that you have two people to really help balance it to ensure that it engages with the wood blocks that you've already secured to the ceiling. At that point, while well, one of you holds it, the other person can go around and actually screw the screws that you've prepped into the blocks of wood. This is really gonna make it super secure and solid against the ceiling. Finally, for step seven, it just requires a little bit of touch up. The installation process is so easy, but you might need to do either a black or brown Sharpie marker or even get a little bit of stain just to touch up the edges where you've done the screw holes and or where you have connections. This will really help to make those look completely hidden and give an even more authentic look to your faux wood beams. So as you can see, the beams have made an amazing impact on this space and it's a gorgeous transformation. However, one of the really interesting things about this product is that the beams actually come in a 13 foot length, but this is a 26 foot ceiling. So as a result, we had seams. Now, Outwater Industries actually makes a lot of different accessories that you can use to cater to the style of your home, both metal and plastic and rubber products. For this space, we decided to go with the rubber strap to actually mold it to the beam and hide the seam. Now, one of the really important install tips, I think, is to actually consider using a blow dryer. This is gonna heat it up and help it mold perfectly to fit around the beam, and then you can glue or nail it accordingly. 